People get caught up with the captain or the leader of an organisation is the sole piece of leadership. We look at it more that we don't need to replace a leader, we need to make sure we're driving leadership across the whole place. So we've got four got other guys in our leadership group who will step up on game day to fill the void where Sloney can't. Sloney stays the captain as day to day because he does an amazing job building the right culture, driving the behaviours that we need off field. But we're also going to be leaning on the, the wider group to, to again build that leadership capacity across the whole place. The four guys in the leadership group are all, they're all very different in the way they lead. Just passing by Brady Smith has landed a big blow. Smithers is he's amazing with his connection across the whole group. He's often the first guy that players will go to when they've got a concern, when they need help with something or a question. But Keyes knows his way through. Ben Keyes, no surprise, he leads through his hard work, both on and off the tra well, training field and, and game day. Big mark by O'Brien. Riley O'Brien, he, he's kind of everything. He's loved by the boys. He lives our values above and beyond nearly anyone else else with his hard work, his connection and prioritise others um, and he's very, very clever. And Marshall goes up and Duda! Dudes, he speaks very well, he sees things, he's got a, an eye for detail, uh, again an exceptional player, an ex exceptional human um, and also very good kind of similarly with Smithers, he's a bit more on the younger side but can connect with the whole group. Rory's really keen to, to stay heavily involved. He's had such a big impact on the, on the culture of this place over a very, very long period of time. And I, I think whilst it's terrible for us to not have him out there on field, um, we'll get even more out of him off field.